Okay, there it is. Possible stolen vehicle. Los Angeles, California. Into a gas station here. A suspected car thief leads police on a wild chase through the city. The cops stay on his tail, looking for an opportunity to take him out. They spot their chance. And here it comes. Oh, it's an unsuccessful pit maneuver. The driver shakes off the blow. Cross traffic here and maneuvering straight out into traffic. He's going into a residential area. Looks like he may be looking for a place to bail out. But when he rockets through a back alley, he heads straight into a trap. Looks as though they're setting up for a spike strip. Officers are in position with spikes. They hit their mark. The driver loses a hubcap and a tire. The front tire is now deflating. Police race in for another hit. There's the pit maneuver right there. It's a textbook pit. But not a knockout. It's continuing though, still continuing. He's got no place to go here. He's got to be stopped. However, he looks like he's going to go onto the sidewalk. That was amazing. Back into an alleyway. With his rim disintegrating, cops have the suspect on the ropes and move in for a final wallop. Okay, they really split him out that time. A cruiser wedges the vehicle against a fence. Guns drawn, police order the driver out of the car. He revs the engine, desperate to break free. All right, we've got smoke coming out of the vehicle. An officer smashes the window with his baton. And another zaps him with a high-voltage taser shot. But this guy still won't go down. It takes an old-fashioned tackle and pile-up to end the chase. They tackled him right here. No one lets down their guard until the road warrior is safely in the back of a patrol car. He survived a spike strip and three fender-crunching pit maneuvers. But 50,000 volts and a body slam put this guy down for the count.